Good morning, y'all. We just did a little drive down to Santa Cruz down to my first ever Porsche mechanic, fast lane Porsche repair. Awesome guy. I am so excited for him to check this car out and uh, finally diagnose what's wrong. <laughs> there he is right there. What's going on, man? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to pull in and uh, yeah, just talk to him for a bit and hopefully he can figure this out. Hang tight. car here for a couple days a um, couple issues so there's the random misfires I'm getting in like cylinder 3 and 6 turns out uh, last owner only replaced one coil uh, out of all the uh, out of all the coils so I'm gonna get some coils done get some spark plugs done that'll be fun um, and then on top of that uh, we're gonna look into well they're gonna look into the uh, ABS PSM issue a little bit more um, and you know, while the car's here, they're gonna just do some graded, uh, some graded uh, brake lines. So I think this is gonna be good for me. And I think this car needs some extra love today. So I think we are, but yeah, it's gonna be ready hopefully sometime next week. So I'm just gonna leave it and uh, just let them work their magic. I'll miss it. One eternity later. Good morning, y'all. Oh, it is a great morning. So. I'm gonna go to Santa Cruz right now and pick up the turbo. It's been there for over a month. And uh, you know, shout out to Mario and the team at Fastlane Porsche, by the way, for really diving into it, tearing apart really stuff that I didn't wanna do um, and finding an air leak that was causing the PSM ABS issue that I was having for, uh, you know, well, I guess since I bought the car, but uh, you know, a lot more frequently now, right? So quick update, what Mario did was number one, he cleaned my throttle body, which didn't work. So he replaced it with a new throttle body. Uh, number two, he chased like, I think it was two small vacuum lines that were, uh, you know, either torn or had holes. I'll go ahead and share some pictures here too. But yeah, that was a, uh, you know, a huge, huge lifesaver. He called me so excited saying that the car was finally done, that they figured out what exactly was wrong. And ugh, I just, I couldn't thank them enough. And you know, my favorite way to thank someone, right? And I think it's my love language is alcohol. So <laughs> I got Mario a bottle of 19 Crimes Cali Red. I'm not a big wine drinker. And I just saw this and saw Snoop Dogg and saw 14.1%. And I was like, you know what? This sounds like a good time. So, hey, cheers, Mario. But anyways, I'll give you guys a quick update once I hop in. All right, there it is. Whoa, it's been so long. I'm way too excited to drive this back. Hey, how's it going, Tim? <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> All righty, y'all. I'm just about to get gas, but I figured I'd show you what the problem was. So this, this little thing right here, let me, let me put it here. This torn up little thing was somewhere under the intake um, and this needed to be replaced. I have no idea what this is, but yeah, looking at this, I would probably think the same thing, right? So this was uh, one of the causes for a vacuum leak. And right here, I think this is the more important one, right? So there's the part number right there for you to look at. This being a 20 year old hose has some flex to it, a little too much flex, right? So basically when the car was warmed up, uh, this hose here, it was like, especially under throttle, it was like sucking in and collapsing, right? So the entire hose wasn't like, it hadn't given out, but look, when I press here, you can start to see that, that little tiny like separation there. And when you look really, really closely, there is a small hole. So I think with that small hole, it just sucked in and went Foop and that choked it all up and kicked off the PSM ABS lights. But wow, so glad this is finally taken care of. And you know what, over here, let me show you where exactly this hose goes. Okay, so according to the shop, this hose is back in there. 
Like it, it is that, that last hose right there. See that, that right there with the hose clamp? Oh, right there. Yeah, that one. Yeah, so it goes this way. And I guess under load, it would just whoop and choke it all up. But, uh, so, so glad this is done, y'all. This has been a journey, a really, really long journey. And honestly, I am just so excited to have no more problems with this car. Um, I'm gonna come back for a little more work later on, just some maintenance stuff. But other than that, problem solved. Um, <laughs> I have new uh, steel brake lines, the steel braided brake lines in here. And I don't know if they're gonna make a difference like in, in terms of like actual pedal feel, but we'll find out. And the only way we'll find out is to go drive. But with that said, y'all, I'm gonna go enjoy the drive back to San Jose and I'm gonna go whip it. The roads seem kind of dry. And uh, yeah, I, I miss a lot of uh, a lot of good weather. Okay, one last update. So I've been in stop and go traffic for like 40 minutes at this point. And honestly, there are no lights whatsoever. No PSM, no ABS. The issue is finally resolved and I couldn't be happier. I feel so lucky that they were able to find this and take care of it because that was driving me crazy. Oh, yep, what a great feeling. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to driving y'all, so peace.